Welcome everyone. In this video I'm going to go through some quick exam style questions on electron configuration. If you are new to this topic there are a couple of videos on the channel to help you get started. Links are in the description. These questions are suitable for BTEC level 3 applied science students. This content is on the unit 1 exam. They are also relevant to A level chemistry students. The answer to each question will be shown in blue. Red text is used for additional information and to help with the explanations. Let's get started. Here's the first question. How many electrons can fit in one orbital? Energy levels are sometimes called shells and they are made up of subshells. Subshells are made up of orbitals. An orbital is a region that can contain up to two electrons with opposite spins. So the answer is B, two. The electron configuration or the electron structure of a neon atom is represented here using box notation. I have put a dotted line around the first energy level. The first shell or energy level only contains a 1s subshell. An s subshell contains one orbital. An orbital contains up to two electrons as stated previously. I've put a dotted line around the second shell here. The second energy level contains a 2s subshell and a 2p subshell. An s subshell contains one orbital. A p subshell contains three orbitals. So a total of eight electrons will fit in the second shell. Here's the question. In this way of writing electron structures, what does each box represent? Each box represents an orbital. I should also mention that each arrow represents an electron. Single or double headed arrows can be used. Single headed arrows have been shown here. Here's the next part of the question. Write the electron structure of an oxygen atom in this way. Use your data sheet to find that eight electrons exist in each oxygen atom. The lowest energy is filled first. Orbitals are filled singly, one electron in each, until they have to be spin paired. I've put the first two electrons in the lowest energy orbital. One arrow points up and the other points down. This shows that the electrons have opposite spin. I have used double-headed arrows. The 2s subshell is filled next. A single electron is added to each orbital of the p subshell until there are no more empty 2p orbitals. The final electron is spin paired and the diagram is now complete. Here's the final part of this question. The electron configuration of a beryllium atom can be represented as 1s2, 2s2. Write the electron configuration of a nitrogen atom in this way. The order of filling of shells is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6. There's no getting around this, it's just something that you have to memorise. Use the data sheet to find out that there are 7 electrons in a nitrogen atom. The large numbers represent the shell or energy level. The lowercase letters represent the type of subshell and the superscript numbers represent how many electrons are in each subshell. There are seven electrons in the nitrogen atom, so if you add up the superscript numbers, you get a total of seven. So the answer is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Finally, in 1s2, what does the 1 refer to? So we mentioned this on the previous question. The 1 is the principal quantum number, it's the number of the shell, also it's the number of the energy level. The answer is shown here. The number of electrons in each subshell is shown with a superscript number, the number of the orbital and the number of the atoms, I'm not quite sure what that means. And that's a good tip. If you really don't recognise any of the answers, never leave a multiple choice question blank and try to narrow it down to a choice of one out of two or three sensible options. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Post in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. Take care and good luck with your studies.